so over the next couple of days I'm going to be reviewing the box of four bubble teas by the Bubble Panda. The teas arrive well packaged with straw in a cardboard box. There are two sugar sachets and four recyclable straws. All ingredients come in plastic containers apart from the Twinnings tea sachets. Step one is to boil the base flavour tea and then you add ice to the tea. Next you add the syrup which is dependent on how sweet you like the tea. And lastly then you top it with bubbles. So my ice actually melted before I added the bubbles as a topping so I decided to decant the tea into a taller glass and then add the bubbles on top which looked a lot better. Okay so this is the one I just made. This is the green tea with the cherry syrup and the cherry bubbles. That's actually really nice. I didn't think <laughs> green tea and cherry would go well. I infused that one for the two minutes. Um, I did add more syrup to it because it was quite bitter, but overall that's actually really nice. The bubbles as well, um, they're quite flavoury and juicy, which I didn't really know what bubbles were like until I got this bubble tea. The syrup as well, I tried it on its own, it was actually really nice. It was more like sour cherry than cherry, sweet cherry, which is nice. So overall, that's a thumbs up from me. And then it's a case of repeating those steps with the other remaining three teas. Except here where instead of adding syrup, you would now add the taro milk again, using as much or as little to taste. So this will make what is called a milk tea instead of a fruit tea. I let the tea stand for a little bit before adding the ice as it melted all of it last time. You can smell the chocolate as you open this so I'm really excited to try these. Hey guys, so I am now just going to try this Assam tea with cocoa, taro milk and the chocolate bubbles. That strangely tastes like coffee, like an iced latte. Overall, that is not a bad thing. I think the Assam gives a nice base to this and the Taro Cocoa gives it a nice chocolatey flavour. Um, the chocolatey bubbles are more like a fruity chocolate, if that makes sense, but overall, I think that's a good combo. So, this is another fruit tea that I've got. I've noticed now that all the ingredients are green, so this is going to be a super green colour. Okay, so here's the tea I just made up. This is the jasmine with apple syrup and kiwi bubbles. Jasmine tea for me on its own is too bitter and a bit floral, but with the apple syrup it kind of tones down the bitterness and adds to a more flavoury sweet note and the kiwi bubbles as well taste really juicy and fruity which is good overall I think this is the best combination I've tried so far and also the colours make it super green which is nice colour I so I'm now at my fourth and final tea this is another milk tea. So in total I had two fruit teas and two milk teas. This is the plain taro milk on its own and it's not really coconutty. These blueberries smell really nice and fragrant. Hey guys, so this is the English breakfast base tea with the blueberry bubbles and the taro milk. The aroma is more like coconut and blueberry. I can't taste the English breakfast tea at all. I can taste mainly just blueberry and coconut from that taro milk, but that's not a bad thing. Um, overall, I think it's a nice combination, but maybe I didn't brew the English breakfast tea enough, so I can't really taste that. 
I would say the taro milk has a sweetness in itself, so you don't need to add sugar to this one. Overall, I think this is my second favourite drink after the jasmine green tea one. Overall, I thoroughly enjoyed trying out making these bubble teas and I definitely would buy some again.